Tell me a company secret that you can share now that you don't work there anymore. Here's things that I wish that I would have never learned after working in banking for five and a half years. Let me just start by saying, please don't be upset with me. I want to apologize in advance for anything you're about to hear. Number one, the bank does have a computer system that is designed to charge you as many fees as possible. So a lot of times when you're looking in your online banking, like your mobile app, and you thought that you had so much money and then you see that you're just being charged fees, but your account was still positive, it was because on our end, they show that you were negative. So what they'll do is they'll post your charges and then post your paycheck so that you get overdraft fees even though you thought that you had the money. Second thing is the amount of money that we are stressed to lend out to people is horrific. It's insane. It is disgusting the amount of money that I was expected to have lent out to people every single day. And as a banker, if you don't meet those goals, trust me, they make it your life's work to try to get those goals. So whatever it's gonna take to get you a credit card or a car loan or a mortgage or a home equity line on your house that you probably didn't even really need, we gotta do it. Most big banks are bad. Well, Fargo is just the one that just you know got caught. This part is important. A lot of you guys need to start checking with lost property. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but I have seen so many people pass away and have lots of money and safe deposit box full of valuable items that should have gone to their families who needed it but because they didn't trust their family members with their money and legally we're not allowed to say anything about it it goes to lost property of the state so y'all need to start checking on that this is not to sound mean but like some grandmas and grandpas were never broke they just told you that they were broke because they didn't trust you with their money and i've seen people struggle with this, like trying to pay for a funeral. Meanwhile, I'm looking at somebody's account that has $100,000 in it and they just didn't tell their family. And please do not come for me for this one, but some of the most chaotically organized and proficient people in this world are specifically people who pretend to be homeless. And before you say, oh my God, how come you don't just tell people who they are or whatever? I legally can't say that I know that they're not homeless and like how much money and stuff that they have when I see them on the streets getting people for money because of how I know, like legally, I can't say anything and it sucks. I literally had one of my clients come to me with a homeless sign on his chest and then proceeded to open up a bank account, go back to his home, and then come back to the bank with $4,000 that he had been keeping in his closet for like a couple weeks. 